Hey everybody, how's it going? Today, let's take a look at this 2017 Mercedes-Benz SLC 200 AMG line. And this is going to be a full, in-depth tour of the SLC. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust shot, and show you a bunch of the features on the interior, as well as exterior. And before I begin, I'd like to give a massive shout out to the Junction Auto Park, located in Llandendo Junction, North Wales, for allowing me to come out and film this car. For more information regarding current inventory and contact info, please check out the link in the description below. And so, Without further ado, let's get it started up and let it run. Let's see, white exterior. With black leather interior. has just over 10,000 miles on the clock. Fires right up. Leather wrapped steering wheel with side grip extensions, perforation inserts, silver accenting and flat bottom design has a 9 speed automatic transmission with manual shift and we'll go ahead and turn on the automatic headlamps fog lamps And the hazards. Both the windows are automatic. And we'll go and check out the exterior, shall we? Eighteen inch wheels, you also have front and rear parking sensors.
has a two litre turbocharged four cylinder engine, puts out 181 brake horsepower, does 0 to 60 in 6.7 seconds and has a top speed of 147 miles an hour. Power locks, power windows, power mirrors. Manual seats with side airbags. And we'll go ahead and hear she sounds. Does have a limiter at 4000 RPM. Does sound pretty good. Let's go ahead and engage Sport Plus mode. Not bad at all. show you how the roof operates.
Simple to use AC controls. Fan speed. Temperature. Different zones. Max front defrost, rear defrost, AC on and off recycling, and rest. Festival in Cardiff. Watch on iPlayer, listen on BBC Sounds. Different preset stations. Decent sounding audio system. And then I wrote the first lesson, uh, the first chapter of Lessons in Chemistry at that point. Because her day was in FMAM, very different DAB Digital TV. Radio. Why is there chemistry in her cooking? Well, you know, I think that she is a scientist and, you know, she sees everything from, from sound her settings, evidence based point of view. So cooking is chemistry. There's absolutely no doubt about that. Preset you go options. To the kitchen and you apply heat to anything, you're causing a chemical. And other options. And you ignite uh, this this chemical reaction. Traffic announcements. Breaking bonds and creating new bonds. You do that every single day. You apply heat. Or, or breaking pans in my case. <laughs> Media. Phone. Well, we don't want to give away too much, but but her getting to this point was very. Navigation. Popular as a single mother. Yes. Destination. Yeah, she is self-taught. Um, she didn't have the the opportunity to have a, a regular education. So she it is possible to teach herself things and she is self-taught. But yes, you know, she was fired from her job for the crime of being pregnant. In the sixties you could not hold a job if you were pregnant. So she had to keep going on her own. And and I think the whole idea of how to get those messages across in the sixties to your to your fellow women, perhaps, about the limitations under which you were living. I mean, we, we talk now and perhaps forget, I know it's the 60s as well, and there's a whole other side of this, and the feminism and, and everything that was coming, but that, that to talk, you almost sometimes had to have a code to talk about how miserable perhaps you were, or, you know, the problem that has no name. Exactly, and I think for women of that era, you, you know, they were being... Vehicle settings. ...that they were happy. This was after World War II. They were told life was beautiful for them. They had appliances that were called avocado. Different driving modes. And it was supposed to make their lives easier. But it wasn't easy for them. Sport. And I think a lot of them, Sport plus. I think that rep, that Individual. generation is a representation of dreams that never came true, ambitions that were never fully customizable. Entertained. And I think that was that must have been very difficult to live under. But that's what my mother lived under. And that's why this book is dedicated to her. I was going to say, how do you think of the women in your life who haven't been able to do just even, you know, 1% of what they could probably be capable of? Yeah, I mean, my mother was a nurse, but when we all came along and there were four of us... Various trip information. ...as did every other woman, but she never ever stopped talking about what it had been like for her to be a nurse. It made her feel... And so on. It made her feel like she was a contributor. And women... It's pretty much your standard Mercedes-Benz entertainment system. So it's pretty simple to use. It's really important to her. So when she, when we were all gone, she re-upped her license, she renewed her license rather, and she went back to work and became, I will say, nurse of the year at her hospital. Yeah, CD player. At that point, we were living in Miami, and she was one of the very first nurses to volunteer for the AIDS ward. Down here, you have your heated seats. What an 
say, what would she make of your uh, chemistry? Is it accurate? Um, yes, it is. <laughs> but only because I've had it checked by two chemists. Ask off system. Uh, yeah, she would be very proud, I think, of the chemistry. In the yeah, oh, well, it's, it's always good to get those things checked. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. But you say a bad day at work and, and you're working as a cop. Parking right? sensors, yeah, auto stop work. start, and your ESP, or electronic stability program. You know, for doing this at this point, had you wanted to write your whole life? Because you were writing, but had you wanted to write a novel? Yes, I, I have. I wrote my first... Power outlet. Five. It was um, a page and a half long. It was terrible. It only had one character. There was no plot. And then I, I wrote another at age 12, and I thought it was great. And my librarian put it in the library, and no one ever checked it out. And then uh, I wrote... Uh, I started another novel that had Elizabeth Zod in it, but I shelved that. And actually, to tell you the truth, I shelved that based on... USB inputs. That I had encountered. No. It was, it was really bad. But oh. it just made me... It put me on uh, uh, writing that book. Um, was it something that was just said to you in a work setting? Or? Uh, no, actually... It Tow was, mode. Um, SOS emergency roadside assistance. And deactivation of your interior alarm. He was very sexist. And... Yeah, I decided I had to shove that book because that book was getting really angry. <laughs> um, but anyway, and then I wrote another book, but that got rejected 98 times. This is my third attempt, and I hit it. <laughs> 98 times? <laughs> yes. That's something. That's yeah, well, I was going to go for 100, but then I thought, why? What a waste of time. Move on. Do you think that one will get published now? I hope so, but I'm, I'm actually kind of dry. Audio controls, hands-free phone controls. You've got some space. Hopefully. And cruise control. Yeah, it must be something as well, having a book made into a TV show. How does that feel? Because you, you won't then get to have the same control in some ways, will you? No, I don't have control. You know, I, I will be reading the scripts, and the team has been absolutely wonderful to me. I have no complaints, but I have to let other people do their jobs. What are your daughters? I believe you've got two. What yeah. do they make of, of the messages in this book? Oh, they're thrilled. You know, I think that, that they... They think, you know, that women today do have problems in the workplace. And I wanted to show them that women that in the workplace in the 60s, it was much worse. And it wasn't so great when I was working. And it's not so great when they're working. But we have made steady progress. We have to keep going. Yes, indeed. Well, I mean, this is a program dedicated in the, the progress <laughs> and the problems, if I, if I may put it like that. And do, do you think, though, being an older one... Pretty so amazing vehicle. That you, ...you have brought something else to it... Let's go ahead and shut her down. Let's go and check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? Well, viewers, 
Hope you enjoyed this in-depth tour of this 2017 Mercedes-Benz SLC. Be sure to like and subscribe if you did. Thanks so much for watching. And peace out.